Thoughts on the Florida for the next Republican primary, and that's where the Tea Party has been strong. You know, it helps send Rick Scott to the governor's mansion and Marco Rubio to the Senate. Can it also help Newt Gingrich beat Rip, uh, Mitt Romney again? Or will Tea Party support be split between Newt, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul? Well, joining us now from South Carolina is South Carolina Tea Party leader, Republican State Senator Tom Davis, who supported Ron Paul. Senator Davis, welcome. Uh, first, what is the message, do you think, of, of Newt Gingrich's win, and what do you predict will happen in Florida? Well, I, actually, it was a very good night for Newt Gingrich uh, yesterday, or a very good day for Newt Gingrich yesterday. You can't deny that. And, um, and I could kind of feel it moving that way in South Carolina after the debates on Monday and on Thursday nights. He's such an extremely good debater, very sharp guy, very bright, very forceful. And I think that struck a chord with the people of South Carolina. Um, but I think one of the larger lessons coming out of South Carolina, quite frankly, uh, Eric, is the growth of Ron Paul's movement. I mean, I think people are missing that message. Back in 2008, he only got 3.7 percent of the vote in the Republican primary, about 15,000 votes. Yesterday, Dr. Paul got 13 percent of the vote and 77,000 votes. So you're seeing a three and a half uh, fold increase in the percentage uh, that Ron Paul got of the vote and a 55,000 uh, vote increase more than five times what he got four years ago. Ron Paul is growing a movement. He's, he's teaching people. He's educating people. You've seen it happen in Iowa, growing the numbers there. It happened in New Hampshire, growing the numbers there. And you're seeing it happening in Florida. Um, I mean, in South Carolina, excuse me. And I think it will continue on in Florida and Nevada on, on into the future. Well, he is going to continue, obviously, in the race, uh, collecting those delegates before the Republican convention in, in August. And last night he mentioned how his movement is growing. But, you know, critics say that he's never going to get the nomination or, or be elected. Will he then well, just be and, a spoiler? And I think, well, you know, and the thing of it is, I think when people talk about will Ron Paul get the nomination or not, you know, miss the larger message. What Ron Paul is trying to do is quite frankly save the Republican Party by bringing it back to its roots, bringing it back to the notion of limited government, individual liberty, uh, adherence to the Constitution. And this has been ongoing for a number of years. And what's really remarkable, and it doesn't matter where you look, whether it's Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, all over the country, you're seeing people starting to pay attention. I mean, Ron Paul's sort of like John the Baptist. He's out there, you know, preaching the gospel, preaching truth. And slowly but surely, people are listening and they're following him. And that's the large story for me yesterday. He's increasing his support in every single primary state. I think that continues throughout the country. I mean, I think it's very important in the future of the Republican Party. Well, what happens then in Florida and going forward uh, as the vote potentially could then be split between uh, the three candidates? Well, I mean, I think that if you look at the Tea Party and if you look at its roots, I mean, it, it, is, it is all about adherence to the Constitution. It's about the federal government aggrandizing too much power unto itself. It's about disregarding individual liberties. It's about Keynesian economics. It's about printing money, the Fed printing money and devaluing our currency. And it's getting away from hard work, individual initiative, savings, and achievement. And what Dr. Paul is saying is there's no easy, easy way out of this. We have to get back to fundamentals. We have to get back to where individuals are in charge of their own lives. The federal government can't solve this for us. But what, then what does that, I, I know what he stands for, we, and the viewers do, but then what does that mean for the election? I mean, uh, if, if the vote gets split, uh, does Romney then get the nomination I, 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 because the Tea Party support has been split among three candidates? Well, I think that the Tea Party support, quite frankly, as people learn more about Dr. Paul's message and they reflect upon what the Tea Party movement means, they're going to gravitate to Dr. Paul, and you're going to see him rising up further and further in the polls. And, and whether or not he gets the nomination or not for the Republican Party, I think, um, of course, I endorsed him, and I'd like him to get the nomination. But more important is moving the Republican Party you know, closer to its foundation, moving it back to free market principles, moving it back to individual liberty. That's a tremendous service to the Republican Party that Dr. Paul is performing. And if you look at the things that the candidates are talking about now in terms of monetary policy, in terms of the Fed, in terms of government intervention in the market, Keynesian economics and how they're turning our economy, those are Dr. Paul's themes. Those are things he was talking about four years ago, and now everybody's talking about them. He's performing a, a tremendous public service for the American people and for the Republican Party. Well, he'll be in uh, Florida tomorrow along with the other candidates, and we'll have that debate, and it will continue. Uh, State Senator Tom Davis, uh, founder of the Tea Party, South Carolina. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you for joining us this morning. Appreciate Bye. it.